Hello my friends and welcome back to more Let's Play Grand Turismo 4. This is Sky here and I hope you're all having a wonderful day and in the last part we did the March, the Nissan March one make and we won this MMR cup car. Ain't it so cute? So we did the March Brothers and now we're going to do the Sylvia Sisters. So we're going to kick it up a notch a little bit and you can see I just, I really love it's It's easy to find. It's easy to Organize your garage in GT4 and find what you want to find. So, quite a few Nissans actually. So, I'm going to get in this 93 U Sylvia K that I bought a while ago. Well, not a while ago. I actually recently bought it. And I know somebody had asked the diary to know the prices that I spent on certain cars. I mean, to me, that's not really that important. Um, it actually doesn't tell you the price. He does not tell me the price that I spent on the Sylvia. Huh. I actually thought it did tell you the price, but apparently it does not. Yeah, you can kind of see. Anyway. That is that. So, this is definitely going to need an oil change. Because I think, what did I have, 180 horsepower or something? That's quite a bit less than what this should have. Should have over 200. So let's fix that. Kind of disappointed they didn't have like the... Like the 96 Sylvia or the... 96 or newer Sylvia, but when I looked, they didn't. This was the newest one they had. But it, I think I did only pay 80, 8500 80, or 8800 something like that for it. It wasn't very much. Alright, so we're just going to do our usual cheap stuff. I mean, a thousand for weight reduction stage one, that is definitely worth it. Always, always recommend that. It's like one of the best things you can get for the price of course it's a Sylvia so it would turn up quite a bit actually not as much as I expected you get the intercooler racing I'm sure it will get over 450 because pretty much this or the the Sylvia K always gets gets about above 450 so and then nitrous and I think this is all I'm gonna get so what do we spend on this 75 8500 something like that I didn't really add it up I just kind of did it wasn't really paying attention so hopefully that'll be enough nitrous just in case of emergency because you never know when these one makes how much the opposition is gonna be tuned but you don't really win anything from these. Then again, we didn't win anything from the Evolution Cups either. And these are pretty short. I'm going to start with Special Stage Route 5 because I like that more than Sokoba. And it'll give me a decent idea of how hard this is going to be. If I need to do more tuning for Sokoba or not. Because if I'm extremely underpowered, Sokoba might be tougher to win. That again might be easier because of the, the tight corners. I don't know. I just like Special Stage Route 5 more. What can I say? It's not what I meant to do. Mm, this really is pretty much stock, so I don't really see the point. It's not really powerful enough to really need TCS, I don't think. So we do have some Sylvia Qs. If they're not tuned, then they're going to be way under power. You know, oh, seven points. Yeah, I did not need to. I guess so I can get maybe a couple more points. I might take off the intercooler and the computer chip for the next couple races. Because it doesn't look like they're tuned any, judging from the points. I'm 
trying to I'll try to race clean, but of course I do so at the peril of hitting a wall. <laughs> oh my heavens, this thing not turning as good as I expected it to. <laughs> oh, that old 60 Sylvia. It held on the third a lot longer than what you would expect. Because I think it has less than 100 horsepower. Do you not see me right there, darling? I mean, I'm right there. Come on. We don't need any traction control. You know, uh, I actually recorded S3 on the Super License before recording this, but I haven't finished the S License yet because I just didn't have time. And I don't have time tonight either. I'm recording this on a Tuesday night. It's only 8 o'clock and I really wasn't that tired. And... I had all my stuff done for work, so I was like, you know, my college class is over right now, too, so I had a little bit of time, so I was like, why not get a little more GT4 recorded? I was kind of in the mood to play this after playing a little bit Sunday night, and so I was like, yeah, let's do it, and here we are, but the Sylvia actually turns better than that Selena S7. And the Selene S7 had racing hard tires, too, which is kind of funny. I probably am not taking the corners as fast, though. But it just seems like it turns better. That's Selene's understeer city. Like, I would always mess up that corner there. Oh, man. Just wait till you see it. I don't know... Unfortunately, the audio kind of messed up on S1 through 3, which is all I recorded that night. But, um... I'm still going to try to show you the original footage. I just hate that it messed up. I don't, I don't really know how I'm going to do it yet. How I'm going to edit it. Oh, my heavens. Screw it. I mean, we're far enough ahead, but... I can't really drive very well with this view. But I like to show the car, so. Excuses, excuses, I know. You know, I really appreciate the graphics for GT4. They really didn't... I mean, there really wasn't very much room for improvement from GT4 to GT6, I would say. I mean, the, Sil the Sylvia K, I think I have it in the same color, same year and everything. And it looks pretty much identical. Slightly, slightly more defined in GT6, but... And GT3 was probably the biggest step up, I would say, in graphics. All right. Oh, yeah. By yellow. Let's see if we can't. <laughs> I messed up that first. What am I saying? I messed up that whole race pretty badly. Messed it up. They'd give me a little bit different view. That would have been a good picture there. Oh well, maybe I can get something from that. And let's progress. <laughs> I tell you what, uh. 
I think the marches were faster than these Sylvia's, the way they had those marches tuned up. That's pretty funny. Which, heck, those marches will tune up around 200 horsepower. They sure will. But yeah, we'll be doing the race of the Red R Emblem next, and that one is going to be tough because I'm determined to use the 70 Skyline that I have. And it's going to be tough. I'll take this stuff off. I mean, I'm not going to really get probably any more points, but... 205 horsepower. It's 21 less horsepower, I think, isn't it? I'm asking y'all questions like y'all could talk to me right now. I'm not streaming. Oh, boy, it went from 7 to 14. So I guess the 180SXs can also get into this. I mean, they're pretty much the same as Sylvia. It's just different body styling. I always love Nissans. It's always been one of my favorite automakers. Subaru, Nissan, and Toyota. Oh, my darling. You just... <laughs> I tried to avoid you and then... Boom. Tell you what, we're going for the big points on this race. Well, I know I'm not overpowered because... Well, I mean, I do have the weight reduction, but... I mean, I guess if I was stalk, this might be like a 20-point race or something. I definitely know I have more horsepower than these Qs, which probably aren't tuned. That's why they say I need points. Because it does an average of all the cars. And look at the one that's... Oh, my heavens. The one car that's way up there. This is kind of giving me vibes of the um, classic historic car championship. Where you had the freaking Cobra. And then everything else was like, what the crap is this, you know? No competition at all. Okay, I'm only slowly chiseling this lead down. Am I going to really need to use the nitrous for this race? Huh? Oh my freaking god. Probably. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Can't take a chance to lose this. I'm not even gaining. They got such a huge lead and it took me forever to pass the other ones. That's why I don't like Sakuba. Sakuba sucks. He just pulled freaking way ahead. We're going to win this time, determined. Provided I don't do anything stupid. Actually, that car is better than this one. It does have more power. It's the S15, Sylvia, ain't it? But my weight reduction might make me even. I don't know. He might be faster. The nitrous definitely gives me the edge, though. Just the edge that I need, considering how short this freaking race is. All right, that was a very hard 14 points. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, the Sylvia Varietta, that's like a Q, ver it's like a Q performance level. It's not really that peppy. Let's 
This might be a better thumbnail, I don't know. Man, that freaking S15, though, it got away. Heck. It got away. Oh, yeah, that definitely might, might be better. That's still that's sixty Sylvia, poor thing. All righty, one more. Fuji Speedway, nineties. Oh yeah, nineties is fitting since these are nineties. Well, yeah, they're not all 90s, but you know what I mean. My car's 90s, so yeah. Yep, yeah, let's start the S15 out front again. It's fine, it's fine. 10 points, even less. Maybe we had more cues this time. I didn't really even pay attention. We had the 1960 Sylvia every time. All right, you ain't running away this time. So we'll actually get to really see who is faster. My 93 is 14 with just weight reduction stage one or your non-tuned is 15. One thing's for sure, I'm definitely taking the corners better. You know I have to be lighter, though. I don't know if my car's lighter stock, but it definitely has to be after the weight reduction. Okay, I lost in there because I sucked on that corner. It's okay, I'm going to gain on you. Tell you what, if um, if I'm faster, I sure can't tell it. Sure cannot tell it. Really, yeah, he he definitely seems to be faster. Then again, he might have had a better exit than I did. I don't even think I'm close enough to draft, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he's definitely faster than I am. What does the what does the S15 have? Like a hundred and no, two hundred and thirty-six horsepower. can't remember what it has. This one only has 205 plus or minus 3 or something like that. I'm trying. He got a better exit there than I did again. Man, I don't think I'd win this if I didn't have the nitrous. I mean, it'd be possible, but yeah, see, clearly he's driving away. And wow, I, my car just completely swerved to the right when I did that. Which made it look like I deliberately went off road, but I promise you I didn't. That's just where the car wanted to go.
probably would the brake balance probably would come in handy. Oh man, oh man, he's yeah. You are not passing me, I'm sorry. Screw you. Look at you thinking you're gonna pass me. Thinking you're all special. Yeah, yeah, we had three three slow ones on that. GJ, you can see, man, the S14 versus the S15. 11 second difference. Huge difference. Well, that was overall, though, a pretty relaxing championship. Wasn't really hard. Wasn't really crazy or anything. I can't complain. And more progress. And we won a very beautiful silver Sil 80. Alright, so let's go check that baby out. And then, oh man, that. This is going to be a long one, too. It's going to be long. Forty-two point seven percent. All right, so let's check that out. Where is it? Huh? Is it under Nismo? No. Where the crap is it? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> like, why is that not under Nissan? Now I gotta find you. Seal 80. It's just called a Seal 80. I mean, <laughs> there's no... Alrighty, well, there's the Seal 80. So, which is a mixture between the 180SX and the Sylvia. Pretty cool. First introduced in GT1. So, thank you all very much for watching. This was Sylvia Sisters. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you all for some Race of the Red R Emblem. We're going to be kicking it up a notch. Definitely going to be more difficult. So, I'll see you there. Stay awesome, everyone. Hey my friends, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Also, subscribe and hit the little bell icon for notifications of future videos. There are a lot of reasons to subscribe to the channel, including monthly giveaways, things on the Discord, such as karaoke Saturdays, a place for show and tell where you can advertise your own channel or your own talents. Regardless of what you choose, stay awesome, everybody.